to yeah. save uh, anyone. So here we go, we're starting up. And uh, I agree with this stage choice. It feels, you know, it's the most neutral one. Yeah. And doesn't really benefit Samus in any special way. Uh, oh. I think it benefits Huff the most. Maybe. Okay, so Rax is famous for going for crazy rests. Like, he, he, he doesn't... He, he doesn't necessarily want to go to up tilt rest or up air rest, he will just do raw rest very often when he thinks he can hit with it. And when he thinks he can't get punished for it here. Oh, wow, nice. Down from me. I've played this Falcon in Furbies, he's actually not too bad for a newcomer. Yeah, I've never seen these two people before. It's nice yeah. to see a Gamma in doubles. Yeah. It's really fun to watch. But anyway, wow. So I, I feel like Blue Team has somewhat stage control. Even though they're down in stocks, Yeah. They f it feels like they're, they're not afraid to go in. Yeah. It just seems that they have trouble dealing lots of damage to team, to Red Team because because, because of how difficult those characters are to combo. Yeah. Well, Falcon doesn't have a hard time, but the problem with Falcon's combos is that they're very easy to... They sh they're kind of easy to interrupt unless he gets far off stage with them. Yeah. And if he gets far off stage with them, it's a big risk for him, because let's say the, the other teammate, uh, the opponent's teammate, can kill him for it. Nice save by Sire, yeah. using a weak dash attack to save the old boy. While Ganon's, you know, his uh, recovery isn't that great, but his hitbox is huge. Did yeah. you just poke him? And he wow. can do another appeal. This is pretty dominant from Red Team so far. They've just not died. I mean, Blue Team hasn't been playing bad, but... <laughs> oh my wow, God. Rax just going going for those rests. And that's, what, that's what happens when both are that high percent. <laughs> yeah. So you see you see Jerk, you know, just playing very calm. He, he's very lenient on those crouch cancels. He loves crouch cancel with Samus. Yeah. Ooh, that was nice, but... Oh, wow! <laughs> Jerk protects him. And I almost thought, you know... I thought it would hit through. Yeah, yeah. that the shield would extend it. Yeah. But I think that Jerk had, surprisingly, the perfect spacing for that to not happen. I think if you're a bit closer, that actually passes through. Yeah. I don't know, it does with Falcon anyway. At least, yeah. Oh, that choke... Uh, choked edge guard by Rax right up there. He could have easily killed uh, Falcon. For sure. Hey, they they've actually been taking this back quite decently. I mean, they used to be like they were like getting seven stocked, and now it's much more much closer. Yeah, two stocks is definitely not a very supreme lead, considering like a good knee on Puff could kill. Uh, wow! Wow! Yeah, and that's about it. And he misses the rest. Oh, oh wow. the weak missile. That's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, I like that. This I one, like that yeah, decision, yeah. definitely, yeah. from the uh, yeah, jerks. Yeah. Oh, nice knee. Nice. That was good. good. That, that was nice. Good uh, reaction from jerk. Oh, ready, to, ready for the follow-up. A key to being good at follow-ups in teams is to always position yourself where your opponent's attacks are susceptible to send... The, 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 I mean, your your teammates attack are susceptible to send the opponents attack at. Yeah. And you can see that when Armada and Android play with each other, they they seem to be always at the right place at the right time, not only to help each other but also to combo the opponents. Oh. I agree with the stage choice, but it favors Samus, I think, most. Yeah. But I do think it's 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 a it's a typical thing in teams is when you play against teams of, of better players, you might want to try and go for the stage because a lot of crazy crazy nonsense can happen yeah, on it. Because it's such a small stage. Yeah, you can you can clutch out wins out of nowhere if you if you if you get lucky. Nice rest. That was good good rest good save. Yeah, definitely agree with that save because the F tilt just. Not only blocked Ganon, but also pushed him away, so he couldn't do anything. After. Exactly. A key uh, when, oh, when you what? want when you want to wake up Puff, you have to find the most the smartest move to do so. I see a lot of new players when they team with a the Puff, they always think, "Oh, I have to jab Puff, absolutely, because it does the least damage." No, not necessarily. Sometimes you have to dash attack. Sometimes you have to F tilt. You have to just have to do the smartest move in the situation. Yeah. 
I'll always have in mind that so long as it doesn't kill Bob. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Sometimes hitting her away like relatively far is not is not too bad as long as as long as you're fast. The important the, the most important factor is speed, like just waking her up as fast as possible. Oh, Ooh, nice that. Uh, yeah, in that case, Jab was actually quite good. Nice, Ooh, good rest. Uh, he. I think this is the key right now for Rax. Wow, I, I didn't realize this, but before this, blue team actually had the lead. Yeah. Rax just needs to nail the rest. He yeah. can't miss any more Ooh, rest the Batmobile. Them. They need all their stocks for this. Yeah. Uh. Oh my god. This benefits Samus, but I feel like those floaties, they die very easily to all those random knees and forwarders. Like, they're very fragile nice on this stage. By Rax? And oh. I, I think if blue team wins this, I think it's pretty obvious what stage this is next. Yeah. Wait, isn't this two out of three? Uh, it's no, it's uh three out of five. Yeah, at, at, at least at least my set uh, for seventh place was three out of five. So I don't know. That will not kill. Oh. But actually, blue team is in a really good position. They actually have one character with much less percent as a lead. Oh, I like Rax movement right now. Yeah. He's doing really, really good. Cool. <gasps> that might oh. be the rest. Oh, that's that unfortunate. They were they were doing so well, and then Rax got this really amazing rest there. And that's it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, really good. Just turn around the momentum so smoothly. I mean, I believe they have to stay on the stage. I believe they have to try again because this was definitely working out for them. Like the lack of space for the floaties is difficult to deal with. I think this stage is like hard for Gavin sometimes because yeah. it's just a big block. Yeah, and he gets hit by everything. Oh yeah. As we say that, yeah. <laughs> everything. But then, if he gets space, if he gets space to breathe, he can throw out this his massive four there, which yeah. basically takes oh a my oh, God. amazing rest. He, he, he saw the grab. He saw the grab, and he was like, "I will punish him after he throws him." Oh, okay, well, Rack first, <laughs> but you know, we got we, Rack's we going got a this. bit too crazy, a bit too crazy. He has to calm down. Oh wow, yeah, yeah. greedy, greedy. Well, I kind of understand his idea though, his Rax, he yeah. wants to do that. But this, the way Rax plays teams is actually a pretty normal way of playing Jigglypuff. A lot of Jigglypuffs will go ham with Rax uh, just because of the possibility of getting saved. However, Rax, you will see him do that in singles too, like go for very, yeah. very gutsy rests. <laughs> That's just his style in general, both in singles and doubles. Oh, nice up tilt. Falcon killer. Nice, nice back backer. Air. Yeah, definitely red team just regained so much momentum on this stage. Phantom hit down smash, really? Oh, and that's the rest, yeah. And red team in control right now. I was almost hoping for, you know, before he got 4 to Nice. This Rax got 4 to I yeah. hoped for a rest. Because that wow. would have worked in that yeah. situation. This Falcon player is actually quite consistent at his down throw knees on Puff. He knows how to pull it off every time. And that's not an easy thing to do. No. You have to read the DI. It's guaranteed, but it's not, not easy. It's the only character where it's guaranteed, actually. Which is funny, because Puff tends to be this character who where not many things are guaranteed. Good by Rax. But you know, this is actually not too impossible for... Well, if Falcon dies, it's over, but... Oh, he misses the rest. I understand why he went for it, though. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, if he gets the rest, then it's, it's pretty much over. Yeah, that's it. It's done. Oh, <laughs> he wanted to read oh. the roll with the rest. Oh, there you go. Nice. Wow, what a reaction. <laughs> What a reaction. Team Gothenburg. Pretty solid. I'm pretty happy to see them taking it this far. So I suppose we're going to see some winner's bracket now. Yeah, I think it's me and Android versus uh, okay. the Danes. Android. Yeah, so I'm going to be up next. Uh, so. Good luck. Thank you. Uh, and
Good luck to you, losers <laughs> later. Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, uh, I can, I can, yeah, you can come. Yeah. Hello, I am joined by one of the TOs, Flab. Is Flab. My name. Yeah. Uh, since Ginny has to go and play now. <laughs> so. We have a winner's bracket match, yeah. winner semis, and our two teams are Android, who's teaming with Ginny this tournament, and Eagle and Stelzig, one of the best Danish teams. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Sweden versus Denmark, yeah. you could say. So these are both really strong teams. Yeah, and Eagle and Stelzig have gone many times. Um, Top 16 in beast tournaments, and uh, they're just very consistent, good team. Yeah. Um, Android is one of the best team players in the world. Yeah. Like needs no easily. introduction. Yeah, pretty much. He's he's teaming with Armada currently in general, and their team synergy is off the charts. Off the, I was just going to say <laughs> off the charts. <laughs> yeah. It's, it could even be called the best in the world, maybe. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah, I would say so. And from Eagle and Stelzig, we can expect Dr. Mario and. Chic? Chic. Yeah, yeah, that's what they usually pay. Or okay. sometimes they, sometimes Ego goes Samus if he thinks it's a better choice. Okay. But I think with Android, who is actually quite proficient at the Samus matchup, uh, and Dr. Mario having a stronger punish game against uh, Chic, I think he wants to go Dr. Mario this yeah, match. Okay. Yes, and he is. And uh, Eagle being one of the best, uh, if not the best, doc in Europe. He is the best. He is yeah, the best. I mean, there, who else is there? there I mean, there's. <laughs> There's Jim from France, he's, uh, what? Okay. There's Jim from France, he's a pretty good um, doc. Uh, yeah. And then there's also Dave from Holland. But okay. I don't think either of them are on the same level as Eagle. No no, of, no offense. No, of course uh, not, of course not. But it's a, it's a pretty rare character also. Yeah, 